Hi everyone, this is Smoger from NintendoGamersOnline.com and this is just a short video showing how to get your Wii Remote working under Mac OS X and how to configure it to play uh, Nintendo games. So, first you need this application, it's called Darwin Remote. You can, it's all one word and you can Google for that. Uh, just like any other typical Mac application, you download it you mount the disk image and then drop the application itself into your applications folder. When you run it, it shows you this window. Uh, you have a little graph here, a little picture of the Wii Remote, and there's a button down here that says Find Wii Remote. So the first step there is to click that. It's going to tell you to hit button 1 and 2 simultaneously, just as if you were syncing, up, syncing it up to a Wii. So you go ahead and click that button, press button 1 and 2 on the Wiimote, it should sync up, and you will actually start to see the motion sensor go. Which is not working for me right now, but nonetheless this is connected. You, you can probably see in the video my key press is there. So that's all set. Basically what you want to do now is go up to its menu go to preferences and you want to click add to create a new profile for your key mappings basically here on the left side here you have all the buttons that are on the Wiimote and in these drop down menus you can choose which uh, buttons on the keyboard they're going to correspond to so what I did here was I just mapped out the typical buttons that we're going to be using for this specific emulator uh, which I'm not sure which one it is, but it's one of these flash ones. It's on Facebook. So basically, you know, up is left, left is down. We're going to be holding it sideways. Right is up, down is right. A and B are nothing on this setup. The minus I have set to key, and then you put a space in this little section to the right. Uh, that'll be your select button. Home, nothing. Plus, I have it set to return. And there's a there's a bug with the plus button for whatever reason, or maybe it's with return, where you can only press it once uh, each time. So once you press it once in a game, it's not going to recognize it anymore. So if you're playing a game where you have to push start a lot, uh, this isn't going to work out too well for you. You may want to try to uh, map that to a different button. It might help. Uh, and then we have button 1 and 2 key to Z and X, respectively. So once that's all set, just click OK. And again, this looks like it's not doing anything, but it just has to sit there, stay open. Now you come over to your emulator here, and you can push and get it going. And I'm actually now controlling it with the Wii Remote. That uh, Darwin Remote application just sits there and handles all the inputs. And uh, I have to say, this works pretty well. It's um, pretty close to a normal Nintendo. So don't use this for evil. Uh, only play emulated games that you own. All that good stuff. And uh, have fun.